Welcome to our channel. I'm Sylvia. I'm Jonas. And this is Ozzy, our four-legged travel companion. We are traveling and exploring Australia whenever we can. Our aim is to capture the beauty of Australia and bringing it into your little room. Please, come with us and enjoy our adventure. stayed a couple of nights here at the Glen Helen Gorge Discovery Park. Uh, we had a powered side with water yeah. and we paid uh, $80 for one night and an unpowered side would cost you $65. It's a bit on the dearer side but they have to be self-sufficient out here, so I can see where they um, yeah, need that money. All right, and you wanted to show something? Yeah. Electric, water, direct on the side to camping. Yeah. Caravan. Looks all new to me. They yeah. must have done that up pretty new pretty good. and I think they're still um, building some more sites here and you know the toilets and showers they are very modern clean, and clean. clean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they also have a restaurant where you can have uh, breakfast lunch and dinner yeah. and they also have a bar as well dog friendly and dog friendly yeah what, what more you want <laughs> we enjoyed our time here at least and it's it's close by it's uh, the Red Bank Gorge and and Ormiston Gorge are very close uh, from here so good base camp yeah and also the Glen Helen Gorge it's a minute down from the campsite which is handy yeah dirt road about five kilometers long so we're letting down the air again as you can see just in case because we don't want a flat tire if we can prevent it Walking now to the um, Red Bank Gorge. It's 1.2 kilometers long, about 30 minutes. One way. Yeah, it's one way. Yeah. It is pretty windy today, and a 
very cold wind so we had to dig out our jackets <laughs> on the bottom of the cupboard <laughs> up there. How cute! I don't know if you can zoom it in. I would say. Huh? The walk is 30 minutes, that's nothing, a bit rock scrambling. Look how cute they are! Those rock wallabies up there. I can see four of them. I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro though. I hope you do. So if you're up to a bit of rock scrambling for half an hour, you can reach Red Bank Gorge easily and it's well worth it. The walk in and the drive, the dirt road is in good condition, so not to worry those 5Ks. But once you're down there at the Red Bank Gorge, it's just beautiful. So we're going and do the having a look at the Glen Helen Gorge. That walk just starts uh, just after the our camping area here. This is the Pinky River. They say it's one of the oldest rivers. So beautiful walking down the pathway here. <laughs> I 
Ich lasse mal Schatzi hier sammeln. Glen Helen Gorge here. You're allowed to swim in here. <laughs> Not today though, it's very freezing cold outside and the water. <laughs> morning we have another beautiful day but it is very windy like yesterday with a very cold breezy wind but otherwise we are fine just have to wear jackets and long pants and <laughs> <laughs> so we are going walking down to the Ormiston Gorge now Let's do it. Everyone is swimming in here, but now, oh, you would freeze to death. I think we walk a bit further down. It looks great with the sun coming through the gaps of the, those rock formations here. gaps here. So 
Darum ist ein Waterhole Gorge, was very lovely. Yeah. A really nice gorge as well. So we are heading back now before we freeze to death. <laughs> We are, we are in the Northern Territory, not in Tasmania. Yeah, but it's so cold, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. We have to put, we glad that we're back in the car and can put the heater on. <laughs> All right, but it's well worth a visit. It's a short five minute paved walk to get there. And in summertime, it's a really nice water hole to swim. So, but for us, it's time to head back. collecting little sticks for her nest and her nest is right here up here up in that tree it's a huge nest That one and for all the other um, coaches here in the McDonald, West McDonald Ranges, you need a national Northern Territory National Park Pass. Uh, it's new, it's since April uh, this year. You need to get one online. It costs uh, 30 dollars per person and is valid two weeks. Or you can have an annual uh, pass as well, but I don't know the price for that one. Okra, the stone of the dream time. Aboriginal people have extracted ochre from these cliffs for thousands of years. The ochre from here is still used by the Western Aranda people mainly for some ceremonial purposes now. Uh, 
Uh, yellow ochre is the dominant color of these cliffs here. It is caused by a mixture of white clay and iron oxide. Rust. The red-brown colors are formed by high levels of oxidized iron in the very fine grain hematite or limonite. The white ochre is, a, is very little or no iron. The white color comes from the chlorine, a white clay mineral. Interesting, isn't it? those rocks <laughs> without getting the color all over it. <laughs> Can you see it? We are on the top of the lookout and look at that, that serpentine gauge. How beautiful. I'm still a bit out of breath, sorry. <laughs> but it was a steep climb up here. Steep climb, but 
Hey, you got a beautiful view up here. <laughs> you can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. And the walk to the gorge itself, it's 1.1 kilometers. Easy walk, you know. All right. We're heading off to the next. Creek Big Hole is now bitumen all the way and from the car park it's a minute walk to the actual water swimming pool. Easy peasy but very beautiful. Having a look at the Simpsons camp and see what's that all about. Uh, the way in is all uh, bitumen, and I have no idea how long the walk actually is, but I think not long. Do you know? Not a look if it says anything here. But here you can see what you can see all along the West McDonald Ranges National Park. So you easily can spend here a week, I reckon. Huh? Here, Simpson Gap, 20 minutes return. Here we go. Let's go.
It is beautiful in here. You have to be here to appreciate the size of those rock walls and the environment in here is just so amazing. But you have to get yourself um, a national park pass for $30 per adult to visit all of the coaches here except Stand, Stand, Standley uh, Chasm is privately owned and they charge you $12 per adult. Yeah, so how, how beautiful. Look at that. There is no uh, swimming allowed in this coach. Stanley Chasm uh, we're doing right now. That's a 2.4 kilometer round trip to the Chasm. The Stanley Chasm is privately owned and you have to pay admission to have a look at it. So the admission is $12 per adult.
It is a lovely walk so far. Mm -hmm. And driving in, it's all bitumen. And on the drive in, we did see a dingo coming up to us to the car. Mm -hmm. We just captured it. <laughs> This really is a pretty walk and well maintained, I must say. It is very green in here, the vegetation here. Looks good, that green against the red rock. We really enjoyed our time here at the Stand, Stanley uh, Chasm. Very beautiful with the sun shining into the road, into the gap. Very beautiful. I think we got some very, very lovely uh, photos, mm -hmm. I must say. Yeah. So now that was the last place we uh, Gonna visit in the West McDonald uh, National Park. Tomorrow we are gonna head off to the East McDonald uh, National Park and see how that is. Mm -hmm. And up to then, see you then. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. We really appreciate your support. Please do like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>